Imagine a place. Imagine Africa. In 2010, when I was preparing to film my documentary, I never thought filming a journey of a lifetime would be so hard. Many different elements were required to really capture the true Africa. So doing a flight over the Okavanga Delta in a minute, can't wait. Uh, I'm kind of sitting here in the front next to the pilot. This is really quite scary. I've never done this before. So my sister would be jealous. Okay. <laughs> first time. What? It's his first time as well. Oh. His first time flying. Oh my god. So, yeah, so we're gonna fly over the Okavango Delta. 45 minutes. Pretty cool. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. On the way. When trying to capture the Okavanga Delta in Botswana, we felt to show its true size of this natural wonder, we would need to take a flight over the Delta. The Okavanga Delta is an inland delta formed from rain that falls in the mountains of Angola to the north. When the delta reaches full flood, it covers an area the size of Wales. This attracts a wide range of animals to the lush vegetation that now grows in the abundance of water. Flying over the delta didn't capture everything. So we would need to take a canoe ride through the delta to capture it from a different perspective. So here we are on a canoe going down the Okavanga delta. Absolutely beautiful. Really absolutely amazing. Um, I haven't seen any big animals yet, such as crocodiles or hippos, but plenty of fish. So we are on our way up to the rainforest now, and as you can hear, the road is really bumpy. So, let's have a look and see what the journey's like, shall we? Most roads in Central and Eastern Africa require a four-wheel drive car. During the rainy season, many of these high elevation roads are not recommended for use, even by the most skilled of drivers. Here we are in Cape Town, South Africa. You can see the bustling city behind me. Um, this is only just the seafront part of it. Um, we're going to have a little tour around the city. Cape Town is split, mostly by their race, in what is known as townships. Although things are changing in South Africa, some areas have still remained the same. So we're in the township of Langa here in Cape Town. Uh, this is a black township and we're going to have a little look around and see how the division between the different races um, makes a difference here. And as you can see, the quality of life is much different from the white areas of Cape Town. Where have they gone? Just to the north. Filming in Cape Town became much harder when the news broke 
that a lady on her honeymoon had been murdered in the township of Gugaletu. Today, police in Cape Town have begun a murder inquiry after the couple were carjacked and Mrs. Dewani killed. The couple, married two weeks ago, were out in a township on the outskirts of the city on Saturday night when gunmen attacked and drove off with the Dewanis in their people carrier. One thing we noticed when filming this documentary was that wildlife always took longer to film. Many of the animals would simply run away or have their backs facing the camera. Skill would be needed to capture these shots, especially when we're on foot. But not only would skill be needed, filming these giraffes in Kenya was also dangerous. These 15-foot animals can give a kick that would kill a human. But luckily, not all the wildlife we filmed was as large as the giraffe. Some were much smaller. So we're still on the Okavanga Delta. Um, found a little friend on one of the reeds. It's probably taken him a long way away from his home. Uh, he's a painted reed frog. Absolutely beautiful to look at. Absolutely tiny though. You might just be able to see him here on this twig, right at the end by my fingers. So we'll try and zoom into him a bit. You can probably see him just there. Filming the mountain gorillas was certainly one of our most ambitious moments. Not only did we have to hike for six hours through thick rainforest, but the temperature was high as well as was the humidity. And we always had to remember these animals are wild. Elephant. Look at this. How amazing is this? The African elephant is one of the most dangerous animals in Africa. Look at the size of its tail. This is a male bull elephant, this one. I've never got this close on foot to an elephant in my life. And he's completely, he seems to be completely unbothered. Off before Tracy gets back with the camera. He's, he's actually just eating the, 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 the food there. This is, this is absolutely amazing. This elephant was a fully grown male adult. Stunning. <laughs> he could easily have charged and crushed me. It took some persuading from me to have my cameraman follow me. <laughs> Never thought in a million years I would be standing within yeah. this amount of space of, a, of an African elephant. Jesus. Although this elephant seemed relaxed by my presence, as more people began to arrive, he began to move towards the camp. He's coming, look, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. He's coming. <laughs> but he was after something more than just being filmed. His back left tyre is right on it, yeah. He's about to tap it on the head. During one of our days of filming in the Norongoro crater, oh. the heat was very intense. And this lion used the shadow of our cars to cool down. He 
soon got up. It's causing a huge traffic jam here, this lion. Yes, thank you so much. To understand some of the animal's behaviour, getting closer was essential. But I never knew I'd be touching a lion to try and achieve this. But some other animals you couldn't help but touch, even if they are dangerous. <laughs> so this is a this is a little boy. Yes. Yeah. And how much does he weigh at the moment? Uh, pretty much 200 kilograms. 200 kilograms already. Yeah. Wow. And how old? Um, he's about a year and a half now. Year and a half. Good boy. And orphaned because the mother may be killed by poachers or something? Maybe, yeah. or else um, it could be that maybe the mother got in last by mistake. I see, yeah. I see. After returning from Africa, I decided I needed a well-known voice to introduce my documentary. Bradley Walsh was an excellent the choice. Chase is on. Bradley Walsh returns in a thrilling new series of The Chase. You better be good. As he challenges brave... What are you going to do? Break your no-carbs rule for Jamie, then? I am a yekka's like. Yeah, go on, get a bit of Scylla. So what answer the people who take all the buyouts and can't afford to live in the area anymore? Now? Yeah. OK. Wildlife. Take one. From the big cats to the great herds of wildebeest and zebra. Stop. This is your take. This is your version two, isn't it? That's the version two, yeah. From the big cats and great herds of the giant savannas. Take two. The wildlife of Africa is diverse. You will see big cats. You will see herds of wildebeest and zebra. And you will see giants of the savanna, the elephants, the giraffes, and much more. Okay, that's that one. Finally, to produce this documentary, we would need a team. And without this fantastic team, none of this would have been possible. chose me. 